Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, it's been forever since I have recorded. A lot has happened since um, I recorded my last video. I think that was back in February or March or something like that of 2018. So here we are in December and I decided to pick up the camera. Um, I know I look a mess, my hair looks a mess, but that's why I'm here to show you guys what I'm gonna do with this mess. Um, I did color it um, last weekend, yeah, last weekend, and I also straightened it. Um, I trimmed it when I straightened it, but because I flat ironed it so many times, curled and all that type of stuff, and then I went back through and colored it. I did a permanent color and a bleach processing. Um, so I have some straight ends on here, as you can see. So, um, it's not a big deal to me. I'm, I wanted to cut it anyway, give it some shape, because it's just gotten really um, long and just out of shape. So that's what we're gonna do today, and I figured I would try to give you guys, I guess, some type of life update um, on what I've been doing and what's been going on. So um, I don't know how I'm gonna style my hair after I'm done cutting and shaping it. Maybe I'll do like a bun or some type of protective style to kind of keep it out of my way for a little while, but um, yeah, let's get started. So, um, what's been going on with me since we spoke last? Um, well, <laughs> I um, had a baby and he is five months old. Uh, well, he'll be five months on December the 9th. And I also bought a house, um, so as you see, I have a new background, I'm in a new space. And, um, I got a promotion at work. Um, so it's just, 2018 has been a good year. It's been full of new beginnings. And if you know anything about um, the meaning of numbers in the Bible, then eight means um, new beginnings. I did wanna make a video. Um, by the way, you'll see me looking this way because my mirror is over here. So I'll be looking over here and not at you all the time, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, I wanted to make a video about the house buying process. I wanted to do it while I was doing it, but everything was just so rushed because I found out I was pregnant. I was already in the process of buying a house. I was looking at houses and every weekend and all that type of stuff. I had a realtor and all that kind of stuff. But things kind of like sped up um, very, very, very fast. When Once I found out I was pregnant, I was like, you know, we need to go ahead and get this done. And my lease was gonna be up in August anyway. I was due in July, so I didn't have time to pick up the camera and, you know, do all that stuff. Um, I did record my first walkthrough once I got my keys and purchased my house. Um, so, and I've been taking pictures of things because I've done a lot of, you know, small renovations, whether it be painting or um, the carpet and all that kind of stuff. Um, just kind of, you know, making it my own. So, if you guys want a video on that, um, just on the house buying process and then play on a, um, a home tour, then I'll be willing to do that. Just let me know, leave it in the comments below. But, anywho, um, about this hair. So, as you can see, it's like, see I wanted, I wanted some copper and I wanted some blonde, so what I did was I took, um, I hadn't colored my hair in probably over a year, so I just took some permanent color, um, it was a, if you're familiar with color, it was a 7cc and matrix so color, and I did that with 30 volume, and I was able to get the darker color. Um, I did kind of like a balayage ombre, um, technique on my hair and I did it when it was straight it was just easier for me to part it and lay the foils um, while it was straight I don't know if that um, you know aided in the damage on the ends but whatever we don't care about that and then once I did that um, I shampooed it out I did a deep conditioning treatment and then I took bleach I also used the matrix um, I can't remember the name of the actual powder, but I used one day of bleaches and 10 volume developer. And um, while my hair was still wet, um, I ran it through a few pieces just to give it, you know, some dimension and get a few highlighted pieces in there. So I don't know if you can see on camera, but yeah, I got some lighter pieces um, up and through there with the copper. And I like it. So maybe, you know, once the springtime comes, I'll light up some more. But anyway, I'm just rambling, so hopefully this video does not get super, super long, but anyway. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, like I said, my hair is grown out and it's just it's just out of shape. Um, so I am going to go ahead and part it. I'm just gonna part it with my fingers. We're gonna do a section over here, 
Lord, y'all, I'm still tender-headed. I've been tender-headed since I was a little girl. That's what made me want to uh, try to do hair so I could stop getting beaten when I got my hair done. Got a section over here. We're gonna put that away with a hair clip. Here. So what I'm gonna do is just take a, a detangler spray. This is by Not Your Mother. Kinky Moves Curl Defining Detangler. Um, it's infused with grapeseed, jasmine, and olive oil, and it says provide soft, bouncy curls for all curl types. I'm not worried about the curl um, in this product or making my hair curly. I really want it just mainly for the detangler so that I can comb through this mess because my hair is dry and it hasn't been wet. And I don't want to soak it because I want to do a dry cut. So um, I got this in a curl box. I'm not sure where you can get it from, but or curl kit, curl box, curl kit, one of those uh, subscriptions I had. Anyway, I'm just gonna take it and spray it throughout just a little bit to kind of mist my hair in the back. Like I said, so it'll make it a little easier for me to um, detangle it, comb through it, and cut it. Now, I am gonna do a dry cut. I wear my hair curly um, in natural styles majority of the time so I'm not worried about a precise cut um, when it's straight I just want it to look good when it's curly if I were to be doing a client's hair then um, I would probably blow it out and then cut it just so I get a more precise cut um, but it just depends on the client so yeah. as you can see in back I just sectioned it off um, halfway with my fingers then I'm going to take this big um, wide tooth comb and just kind of comb through that. Y'all hear them kinks? See? You see those ends? Can you see those? That needs to go. I know I've said it on it before, but when you're detangling natural hair, um, always comb from the bottom and then go up. Um, it'll cause less breakage. So I'm just gonna take my scissors. These are washi shears. I got these, I don't know how many years ago. You see where I cut that guy? The shortest piece is right there, so I'm just gonna stretch it out and cut the next section. Next section up and just Follow that graph, that guy that I created. Like I said, I wasn't trying to, um, I don't want to cut all my length off, but I do want to give it a nice shape. So we'll go through and do that and then shape it some more later. Once, once I've cut all the sections and I'll comb it out and see what it looks like and cut as I need to.
Look at that. See, those need those ends need to come off. That's just that's ugly. All right, y'all. So I am gonna take my blow dryer on low. Um, kind of stretch this out a little bit more just to make sure it's even. Or as even as I'm gonna get it. Alright, now let's knock out this these front sections. All right, now you see that? See, I want all of that gone. So, what I'm gonna do is finish combing this out. I think the back is fine. The bottom, that's fine. It's just more up in here that I wanna fix. So what I'm gonna do is fix it. No, what I'm gonna do is just go through and try to Shake that a little bit more. I just want to, like I said, take some right up, up in here. Kind of round it down. See how that looks better? Hey y'all, so I'm back. Um, as you can see, it's dark in here now. Let me see. But yeah, it's dark. Um, I was recording this video earlier this morning, but I had clients that came. Um, and yeah, so I'm done with my cut and my shape. 
as you can see, it looks a whole lot better. I love the shape of it. Um, and I got rid of those, most of those straight ends. I got a couple, I think, in the middle, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Um, as it grows, I'll, you know, cut snip as I need to. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick style for you guys. Um, it's just gonna be what I call my Cinnabon. Um, Uh, every time I wear it, it compliments on itself. I figured I'd go ahead and record it and show you guys how I do it. It's very simple, and since my hair is already blown out and stretched, it's the best time to go ahead and do it. I also do this style on an old twist style, just stretched hair. I won't do it on fresh twist style just because it's not going to be as full and um, whatnot. But yeah, just here you go. It should. This style typically takes me about 10, 15 minutes to actually do, and the rest is just setting time. Um, I'm not going to actually set it because I am going to twist my hair up, just do a two strand twist out, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, how I do it. I'm going to, as you can see, my edges are already, you know, kind of laid down. My edges are growing back because after I had my baby, um, three months afterwards, my edges fell completely out, y'all. I was just bald edges out here. Like, all of that was gone, so it's growing back in. It's really light right now, but it is growing back in. Um, but all I'm going to do is just put a little edge control on these edges. Um, normally, like I said, I would do this on old hair, so I would pack it with some gel. Some eco styler gel. But we're not going to do that today. So, get my edge control. Slick it on down. I am just using the Shine and Jam sleek edges this is why I use the braid whip so whatever putting that on my edges and then um I'm gonna take my string my satin string this is like silky satin it's not cotton it's not like a shoestring or anything like that um and so my hair I don't deal with breakage from pulling my hair back with this but yeah I'm just gonna take this Um, for this to be a true protective style, I would saturate my ends with some type of moisture butter. I prefer to use my own butter, um, my own homemade butter, but you can use whatever. And then I'm going to take some closed body pins. These are what I'm going to be using um, mainly for this style. Um, occasionally I'll use a couple of open body pins, but yeah. So take this section and we're just going to roll it. And pin it. And we're going to do that all the way around to create a center bun. And you can do as many sections or as little sections um, as you want to do. The more sections, the fuller. And this is just another style like the puff that you can kind of fake it until you make it and make it you know make your hair look like you have way more hair than you actually do um one of the keys to this style is when you're rolling roll it the same way all the way around so see how i rolled this first one like uh it looks like a big barrel curl but i rolled it this way i'm doing the same thing i'm rolling it this way and we're just going to do that all the way around my head
yeah that's pretty much the style like I said um maybe one day I'll actually do it for real on here but I just wanted to just get a video out because I needed to get back to recording so hope I didn't ramble on too much um I hope you enjoyed watching me shape and cut my hair and also do a quick little bun style um I got some more videos coming for you guys. I'm gonna to try to record some this weekend um, of my clients, of myself, and hopefully I can keep this ball rolling, but please be patient with me. Um, I have a baby now, so life has changed and I don't have as much free time as I would like, but um, I still appreciate you guys for sticking with me. Hey to my new subscribers. Um, I never did do like a formal introduction of who I am and what I'm about, so maybe one day I'll come on here and do that. Um, but yeah, go ahead and um, leave some comments on what you, the type of content you would like to see. Um, Cause I run out of ideas sometimes, you know, and I want to put things out there that you guys want to see and not just what I want to um, do. So send me some comments or some ideas of what you want to see. And um, like I said, I'll see you guys in my next video. And I just want to say thanks again. I appreciate you guys for all the love and support. Even when I was not active on YouTube, but as far as posting videos, my subscriber count has still been going up. So you guys, I really love you and I appreciate you. And I will see you next time. Bye.